Prox Mark III. It is the best device available on the market when it comes to RFID pen testing. Hello, my name is Marginal Jr. In this video, I'm gonna cover nine best wireless hacking hardware tools that are used by either hackers or the good guys. The good guys use a method called pen testing and the bad guys, well, we know what they do. So without further ado, let's get right into it. This story is courtesy of Rahul Arnier at TechSpinx. So what is pen testing? Pen testing is an authorized sim simulated attack performed on a computer system to evaluate its security. Penetration testers use the same tools, techniques, and processes that attackers to find and demonstrate the business impacts of weaknesses in a system. For disclaimer purposes, I want to I want to make sure that I say this. These wireless hacking hardware devices are made for ethical purposes. Do not use them to harm someone. Number one, we have Hack RF1 is an open source hardware platform from Great Scott Gadgets. This software defined radio is designed to test, develop, and modify contemporary RF uh, radio frequency systems. The unit is capable of transmitting and receiving radio signals from 1 uh, megahertz to 6 gigahertz. It works as a USB peripheral and can be even programmed as a standalone device. The Hack RF1 can interact with a broad range of wireless systems, which includes broadcasting stations, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, smartphones, GPS. If you plan to pen test radio frequencies, then this is a must have tool in your wireless hacking hardware uh, toolkit. Number two, we have the Ubertooth One, which is an open source Bluetooth, Bluetooth, test, um, Bluetooth pen test tool from Michael Osman. It is bundled with an ARM Cortex M3 microcontroller and an antenna. It has an operating frequency of 2.4 gigahertz. You can plug this tool into a computer using the USB and use it with various wireless monitoring tools like Kismet. Compared to other Bluetooth monitoring tools that may cost you more than $1,000, this tool is very cheap. The best part of the Uber uh, Tooth One is both the software and hardware of this device is open source. Therefore, you can even build one yourself. Number three, we have Comidux Zigbee CC2531 Sniffer. Zigbee is a cheap and low power wireless network standard used to create personal area networks with small, low power digital radios, such as for home automation, medical device collection, and other low power, low bandwidth needs. It is an IEE AO2.15.4 base spec, uh, specification, and due to its low power consumption, the range is limited to 10 to 100 meters. However, Zigbee devices can transmit data over long distances by passing uh, data through a mesh network of intermediate devices to reach more distant ones. The Zigbee sniffer is designed to sniff on devices that use Zigbee chipset. So if you are interested in hacking security systems, home automation tools, drones, wireless sensors, etc., then this wireless uh, hacking hardware will help you to sniff and decode the packets. Number four, we have Crazy Radio PA. Devices like a wireless keyboard and mouse send, mouse movements, and keystrokes over the air. An attacker can compromise a victim's computer by transmitting specifically crafted radio signals using a device like Crazy Radio PA. Crazy Radio PA is an open USB radio dongle based on NRFT, uh, NRF24LU1 Plus technology from Nordic Semiconductor. This device allows an attacker to exploit vulnerabilities like mouse jack and key jack from a distance of one kilometer and one can even extend the range using Wi-Fi booster antenna. Wireless hacking hardware that allows taking control of the target computer is a must have in any hacker's pen testing toolkit. Number five, we have Prox Mark III. The Prox Mark III is developed for sniffing, reading, and cloning of RFID, which is radio frequency identification tags. It is the best device available on the market when it comes to RFID pen testing. The Proxmark 3 RDV4 is the latest revision of the Proxmark 3 platform as one of uh, writing this post. The device is small enough to fit in a, in a pocket and is also compatible with Android. 
Since RFID is used in a variety of applications, including commerce and transportation, it has become a target for many potential attacks. If you are learning about physical security, then I recommend this wireless hacking hardware be included in your pen testing toolkit. Number six, Wi-Fi Pineapple. Wi-Fi Pineapple is a powerful and versatile wireless auditing platform from Hack5. Uh, it contains many sets of tools, sorry, for wireless pen testing, which is very helpful for networking security administrators. Wi-Fi Pineapple can also be used as a raw, uh, rogue access point, thereby enabling targeted man-in-the-middle attacks. You can also conduct active Wi-Fi attacks, which um, with manipulated management frames, including uh, Zwaf. Not only that, but Wi-Fi Pineapple is also a great tool for advanced uh, reconnaissance like identifying vulnerable devices, monitoring and collecting data, gathering intelligence on targets, etc. The best part of this tool is that you don't have to install any software to use it. Everything can be done through an intuitive web interface with just a few clicks. There is also very active community surrounding it with constant updates, making it the most well-known and classic tool with <laughs> when it comes to pen testing Wi-Fi networks. Number seven, we have Wi-Fi deauthor. Deauthentication is necessary for hacking Wi-Fi networks. Once you deauthenticate a client from a wireless network, the client is forced to reauthenticate with the network. During reauthentication, an attacker can steal the WPA handshake and use it to brute force the password for the network. Also, deauthentication is useful in evil twin attacks where the attacker disconnects the client from the wireless network and force the client to authenticate a rogue access point. D Stike, a Wi-Fi deauthor board, is a small and cheap deauthentication tool which is bundled with an ESP8266 deauthor software. With this tiny development board, you can perform different attacks to test Wi-Fi networks. Number eight, D Stike Wi-Fi Duck. You probably heard or seen USB Rubber Ducky, especially if you are a Mr. Robot fan. USB Rubber Ducky is a tool that looks like a flash drive but acts as a keyboard and allows an attacker to execute keystroke injection attacks on target computers. Now, in the case of a USB Rubber Ducky, an attacker has to program the payload in advance. If the attacker doesn't know which commands to run beforehand, then USB Rubber Ducky is useless. This is, why, this is where D-Stack Wi-Fi Duck comes into play. Wi-Fi Duck does the same thing as USB Rubber Ducky, but has Wi-Fi access and has a web interface. This means you can control it remotely over Wi-Fi from an, a distance. Now an attacker can easily send payloads and commands over the Wi-Fi to target machine as long as the Wi-Fi Duck is connected. An attacker can also use this device to inject backdoors into the target machine. So even if Wi-Fi Duck is disconnected, uh, the target machine will still be under the control of the attacker. Note, unlike Crazy Radio PA, you have to physically attach this device, this device to the target computer and control it via a web interface on the attacker machine. This device is also available as a smartwatch with an OLED display and has the same ESP8266 chip. The latest version, V3, of the Wi-Fi Deauthor wristband has an 800 uh, mAh lithium battery that gives up to 8 to 10 hours working time. Number 9, Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is a low-cost credit card sized computer that plugs into a computer monitor or TV and uses a standard keyboard and mouse. Now Raspberry Pi is not particularly made for hacking purposes, but you can install Kali Linux on it and turn it into a portable Wi-Fi hacking device. Kali Linux has, diff has many different software tools to not only hack Wi-Fi, but for hacking anything in general. That's why hackers prefer Kali Linux as their prime OS for pen testing. Although you can install Kali Linux on your laptop, it is not a good idea to use a device that you use for every day to day work and contains your personal data. So either you carry a different laptop or go for a much cheaper option, a Raspberry Pi. Did I leave anything out? Please let me know your thoughts. I want to know your opinion. Please hit the notification bell. Please hit the subscribe button. See you on the next video.